Hello, welcome. In the last video, we created a table, a graph, a table and a, a graph for compounding our interest annually. In this video, we'll look at how to do it semi-annually and then monthly. So let's do that. Now we already did a lot of work that we can reuse. So go to your spreadsheet, take your compounding annually sheet, click this, and just duplicate it. There we go. All right, so the big difference here is that you want to insert a column and you want to track what's going to happen because this is going to be semi-annually. So let's rename this. So compounding semi-annually. And what that means is that, and I'm going to go back to the original here so you can see, we have a starting balance, $10,000. After six months, we apply some interest, and then we do it again at 12 months. So it's happening two times a year. So I'm going to just enter these numbers exactly, 10,004%. Let's do that. So first I'm going to type in 10,000, and then 4%. Okay. So when you take 4% and you get it once a year, that means once a year they'll add 4% interest to your account. But if it's semi-annually, that means they're going to add not 4% twice. It's not the full amount twice. If it's compounded twice, you divide the 4% by 2, and you get 2% twice. And I want you to see that. You're getting 2% twice. So at 6 months, you get 2%. That's $200. And then you're going to end up getting more than just if it was 4% once because now you get 2% again. 2% and 2% is 4%, but this 2% is on a bigger amount. It's not on 10000 anymore. It gets compounded. That $200 of interest is added back to the account. So now you're taking 2% of 10200 and that gives you 10404 So here, balance is, I'm going to just write the same thing. So balance at 6 months and then balance at, at 12 months. And then our starting balance is already set. Okay, so we type in equals, take our starting balance, and we're gonna multiply that by whatever the interest rate is here. So dollar sign B, dollar sign two, that's just locked onto that cell. So as I drag this formula down, it always knows to refer to B2. And excuse me, one plus that interest rate, and then divide it by two. So if our interest rate is 4%, it's gonna divide it by two, it's gonna give it 2%, hit enter. Then just repeat that process by dragging it this way. You can see it gives you 10,404. Now everything else is set up. If you just select these two and drag it down, right, you'll get everything set up. Now it's 18,000. $113.62. You can see I have the same number here. But our future value formula is incorrect. Because right here it's giving B2, that's our interest rate. That's not our interest rate every time we're compounding. Our interest rate is 4% divided by 2. It's giving 2% each time. And therefore the number of pay periods, well it is 15 years, but it's times 2. It's 2 periods per year. And now it matches. All right, so let me go back up to that so you can pause the video and take a look. There's your formula. I'm going to then highlight if you want to pause here. I'm going to also highlight this formula, that formula if you want to pause the video and get it, and this formula. All right. And again, all I did was click these two and drag down. All right, finally, let's finish this. Let's duplicate this. Let's do it monthly, and we'll stop it monthly. We're not going to go any further than that. So we want to do compounding monthly. All right. Now you've got to insert columns for each each month, and that could be a little tedious. Let me show you some short shortcuts. I have a, a column inserted here, but if I want to insert more than one, I select more than one column. You see what I just did right there? So I selected one, two, three. I already have one, two, three. So I need nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I select all of those and right click, I can insert nine columns and they're already formatted. Isn't that cool? So you have your starting month and then starting balance. And then what we're going to do, let me show you what it looks like. We've got starting balance and then one month, two months, all the way up to 12 months. So let's do that. So we do 
one month, two months. And I wonder if I do this, I think you should recognize it. Let's see. Yeah, three months, but watch, I'm curious if I put an S here, will it not recognize it? And let's see if it gets it. Oh, yeah, so that throws it off. So you can actually type it this way, month one and month two. That should work. Let's see, highlight this. Come on, work. Yes. So if you type it that way, you can just drag it over to get the the the, the 12 months without typing them all. Okay. And all you're doing here is you're going to type in right here. You say, all right, take my starting balance, and I'm going to multiply it by 1 plus whatever the interest rate is. That's in B2, so dollar sign B, dollar sign 2. And now we're dividing that by 12 because it's per month. So 4, four divided by 12 is 1 third. But this is 4% divided by 12 so it's 0.04 divided by 12. So it's 10, 100 times smaller than 1 third. Um, so it's 1 300th, uh, I believe. So let me just calculate that real quick. 0.04 divided by 12. So that is... So let's look at that, uh, what you're actually getting each month. It's a tiny amount, 0.04, that's 4%, divided by 12. All right, so 0.0033. Now, if you want to know what it is as a percent, it times it back by 100. So that's about 0.33%. Let's take a moment and just process what this all means. If you're getting 4%, per year compounded monthly. That means each month, take 4%, divide it by 12, and you're getting about 0.33% per month. So at the end of every month, you get 0.33% of your principal, add it back on, that's the compounding part. Compounding means add it back on to your balance, and then repeat the process. So that's what I did right here. It gave you $33.33. That is 0.333% of 10,000. And then you're just going to repeat this process by dragging it across. All the way over to month 12. And then drag it down. Boom, we're done. Now that filled out everything instantaneously. It took, if you will, follow the starting balance, and it gave you 0.33% on top of that, then 0.33% on top of that, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Now, we're trying to get to 18,203.02. Let's just check for the same thing here. Yep, there it is. So let me go back over here, and if I click on this cell, there's the formula, if you want to pause the video and capture it, that I entered, and I dragged it across, and then after across, I dragged it down. The only thing we have to fix is our future value formula. It's not the same as what we're getting down here. It's not 18,2,0,3,0,2. That's because our in the first instance here, we have B2, that's our principal. Um, sorry, B2, B1, B2 is our rate. And we want to divide that now by 12. And then that'll uh, basically fix it. Except for the years, it's 15 years times 12 because in our case, this is the number of pay periods, and times it's being compounded, and that should do it. All right, um, now the, the chart is kind of fun here. The first thing I'm going to do, this chart needs to get spread out a little bit. It's not, it's going to look terrible if it's at the, the sides that right now, so I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to, I think it looks pretty if I just kind of drag it over here and then make it at least as wide as the um, table I'm given. And we're going to make some edits. So let's go here, edit chart. All right, so much of it is actually still the same. And, but here, the 
It knows the data range is AC, A6, and then it says through N22. There it is, N22. But I have to add series here. And it's, so I'm just gonna click Add Series, and then I'm gonna click, I already have month one, I wanna have month two. Let's watch the, the, the graph as we go. So now it's showing me that build of, of, of two months over each year. Then three months, and go all the way to 12, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, 10 months, 11, and finally 12. Now, why, you know, why bother doing this? Well, what I want you to see is that over the course of each year, that your money, it starts off at 10,000 here, right? But then this is the first compounding you're seeing actually, slightly above 10,000. You see that at the end of month one, it's at 10,033, and then it compounds, 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 compounds. And all that means is that uh, the interest is added back on the account and then multiplied again by another 0 0.03333. So you're seeing little jumps of 0.33 interest 12 times which is what it means to take 4% and divide it 12 ways. Now, that total gain is always going to be over 4% because of the way interest builds on itself. But that's how we set it up. All right, I hope this helped. Don't forget, if you're in my class, please save this with your name. Sean's, Sean, boy, Sean's Compound Interest Calculator. And please share it with me so I can edit it, so I can fix work in there and give you some feedback. Thanks.